Chapter 7 Cleaving Fiber Cleaving the fiber to prepare for either fusion or mechanical splicing is a must requirement. At the end of this chapter, we will introduce mechanical splicing. But let's start with John Bruno for four and a half minutes, who goes into the particulars of the Precision AFLCT50 cleaver. I always like to give you guys brand new technical information. You know, fiber's always been evolving over the years, and uh, AFL Alcoa Fujikora has come out with a new CT50 cleaver. Pretty slick little cleaver. Just want to give you a little heads up on what can they do to make a cleaver better. Uh, one of the things you'll see here uh, is it's got Bluetooth, so we can link it to whatever splicer that you have. It'll tell you all the information, how many uh, cleaves it's done. But really, personally for me, I love this feature here where you can actually rotate and uh, height in the blade on this cleaver. Uh, one of the long time coming things, and you know, it's taken years for us to come up with this, but it kind of seems obvious, is uh, one of the big issues that you guys always tell me and I always put in my Ask Brunos when I get a chance is, you know, how do I rotate a cleaver blade and how often do I have to do it? Well, the new CT50 here has a blade that actually has a function for auto rotation. So we have different uh, wheels on the bottom here. If you can see this, this will, every time this cleaver does a splice or does a cut, it will actually rotate the blade. And we have a little counter inside of this guy and it goes from one to 16. Those are the 16 locations uh, on the blades. One of the things I had questioned about it was, well, you know, AFL, the, the blade doesn't always wear evenly. So maybe position two and three went bad a lot sooner than the rest. So every time we rotate through that blade, you know, we're gonna get two, three bad cleaves in a row. We're not gonna wanna recut our fiber every time. So they said, you know, John, we've, we've thought about that. So you can actually stop the auto rotation. I think that's a fantastic feature. What we can do is stop the rotation, wear out one position on the blade, rotate it automatically once, and then use that position. So we won't get that uneven wear. We'll just run through the, the blade positions. Another nice feature too is we can change the height on the cleaver blade here. So it'll start out on the low position, but we also have medium and high. Real nice about that is when you rotate all the way through the 16 positions, you can raise the blade two more times. So we're looking at at least 60,000 cuts on this blade before you ever have to do anything else. And always remember, if you don't feel comfortable changing the blade or rotating it when, it when the opportunity exists, you can always have our technical department do it, our calibration services. Just another little service that we provide. Um, the other nice thing about this guy, obviously removable trash container and it's a little longer than the last. Um, nice too is you get a lot of complaints about you know, your typical cleaver when we're doing ribbon splicing, we splice so many fibers that every spl every time we cleave, it's like 12 cuts on the blade. So with this auto rotation feature now, you're gonna get around 5,000 cuts before we have to replace that blade. So just wanted to show you what's new in the fiber world. And again, remember, check out FIS University. We've also come out with an online program that you can take, uh, sign up, I believe it's $195. Um, we're looking at getting Bixie certification that's in process and uh, I hope to see you guys again or for the first time in one of my FIS university classes. Thank you. The FIS Lynx Cleaver is a high-end precision cleaver offering fewer features but at a lower cost. This short one-minute video allows you to compare two of the many precision cleavers available. The FIS Lynx family of fiber optic cleavers offers high precision at a low cost, and they're suitable for any job. They are compact, ergonomic, durable, and precise. They're perfect for all cleaving applications from splice-on connectors to an emergency fiber restoration. All Lynx cleavers have a cleave angle of 90 degrees with 0.5 degree variance, and they cleave 250 micron and 900 micron fibers. The Lynx Precision Cleaver uses a three-step process that will fulfill any cleaving requirement. The 16-position blade provides 48,000 cleaves before it needs to be replaced. 
When it is time to service your Lynx cleaver, please contact our calibration department and set up service to keep your cleaver performing properly. To purchase the FIS Lynx family of cleavers, contact Fiber Instrument Sales on the phone or go to our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com. When a fusion splicer is unavailable and a fast connection of fibers is critical, the mechanical splice will serve you well. A mechanical splice is often used as a temporary connection until a more permanent fusion splice replaces it. Note that the FIS low-cost cleaver easily makes an acceptable cleave in this 3-minute video. In this video, you will see a demonstration of the FIS Ultra Splice. The FIS Ultra Splice is a great tool for bare fiber testing, spool length verification, and emergency repairs. We will be showing a bare fiber reel mechanical splice with the optional VFL. Here are the items necessary for installation. Cleaning solution and wipes, fiber optic field cleaver, fiber stripper and scissors, optional VFL, FIS Ultra Splice. The FIS Ultra Splice is designed to accept both 250 micron and 900 micron fibers and uses a threaded cam to keep the fibers in place. For use with 900 micron fiber, remove the blue insert on the side the pigtail will be inserted. Strip an inch to an inch and a half of 900 micron jacket and 250 micron coating from the end of the pigtail. Be sure to remove all of the acrylate coating from the fiber. Wipe the fiber clean with cleaning solution and wipe before cleaving. Using the field cleaver, cleave the fiber to 7 mm as shown. Insert the fiber into the ultra splice as shown. You will be able to see the fiber through the splice window and stop inserting when it is halfway through. Use the VFL as shown to aid in the insertion and mating of the splice. Next, take the bare fiber from the spool and strip an inch to an inch and a half of the 250 micron coating from the end. Be sure to remove all of the acrylate coating. Cleave the fiber to 7 mm. Keeping the blue plug in the ultra splice, insert the bare fiber as shown. The connection will be optimized when the red light diminishes. Thread the other end of the cam on the splice to lock the fiber in place. You can now test a bare fiber spool for loss and length verification. The Ultra Splice can also be used for emergency repairs. Simply insert both ends into the splice for any combination of 900 micron and 250 micron fibers. Thread the fibers in place for a quick emergency repair. Thanks for watching this video. There are more free training videos. Go to the playlist by clicking the top right.